Welcome to today's tutorial. I want to teach you how to make this crunchy headband or hairpiece or statement headband. Let's dive right into the tutorial. You fold your material. I've not cut already. I'm going to show you how to measure and cut. Things needed for this tutorial is your loop toner. I don't have loop toner. I'm using my screwdriver your uh, ruler or pattern master anyone then your scissors your chalk and uh, elastic sorry i didn't show you elastic here but i'll still show you elastic and the cause of this tutorial and your safety pin and office pin very very important one thing i like about this crunchy headpiece is that you can make it as many as you want and you can sell it you even make it for your customer as a gift so that they will come back when you make clothes for them the remaining of their fabric can use to make a head scrunchy headband for them and because of that they will come back so this material is folded into two the length unfold is 22 but uh if you unfold it the the 22 plus 22 is 44 inches that is what i'm showing you the material is on fold what i have uh, the length the total length is 44 but it's on fold that is why i'm showing you 22 inches then the width you mark 10 inches for the width that is what i'm marking 10 inches for the width remember 10 inches for the width but the length the total length is 44 inches you can go as long as 50 to 60 inches if you want the scrunchie to be full so the least you can go is 40 inches and the highest i have gone is 60 inches for the length but the width is 10 inches but if you want something smaller you can do six inches i'm done cutting it out let's fold this one and keep aside and work on the other ones now we are going to cut a lining piece lining piece i call it lining piece because it's what we are going to put inside the main material the first material that we cut our lining piece is 15 inches length and three inches width 15 inches length and three inches width that's what i'm doing now let me mark the three three inches the width then after marking it we'll cut it out and then we'll go over to the next one this i'm marking at the back of the material the back of the material the back of the material don't mark on the front piece mark on the back let me make a mark with my chalk so that we'll know the one that is the front and the one that is the back because of most material don't show front and back then cut it off let's make the mark yes the back bring the other material and make the mark on it to know the one that is front and back the next material we're going to cut out is the elastic casing elastic casing i repeat elastic casing is 15 inches length and four inches width 15 inches length and four inches width let's mark the four inches mark it out make sure the mark the chalk or the markings are very clear so that while cutting you know where you're placing your scissors to cut got it four inches width i'm emphasizing so that you don't make mistake the length is 15 inches look at it so let's cut yeah our three pieces are all ready this one is the elastic casing the second one is the lining and the third one is the main material let me label them so that we will know each and every one of them this one is the main material label m <coughs> sorry this one is the lining and label l lining this one is the elastic casing and label e so that we will not misplace or mistake 
uh, uh, the other for the other one the width is four inches the length is 15 inches the width of this lining is three inches the length is 15 inches yeah the width of the mem the length of the mem material is 44 inches 44 inches and is on foot then this one the width is 10 inches so these are the four things four materials that we need plus the elastic look at the elastic the elastic is here one inch i'm making use of one inch, one inch elastic and the, the length is seven inches one inch elastic one inch the length is seven inches seven inches so that it will balance while wearing it on your hair it will be very very balanced on your hair don't stretch it while cutting no don't stretch just cut like that don't stretch don't draw it make a mark on the seven inches and cut out let's cut it out our elastic is cut out and ready so <coughs> sorry sorry let's dive right into the tutorial let me show you how you go about this this is very very easy you please pay attention very easy you can make this and so and sell and make your money so you fold it front facing front fold into two and sew with half inch down to the length of the main material so from the tip down then the elastic casing the elastic casing fold the front then sew down with half an inch let me sew it and come back and show you how it looks i finished sewing them down this one is the remaining one. This one is the lining piece. Let's keep it aside and work on those ones. Then, with your loop turner or your screwdriver, turn the elastic casing inside out. Turn it inside out. So that it will be ready for your elastic. <coughs> I finished turning mine look at it then you pin your elastic with your office pin before that make sure that as you turn it make sure that the the sewing edge that the sewing mark is at the middle place it in such a way that it will be at the middle i'm turning the main material also the same thing is applicable to the main material after turning it make sure that the line is on the middle not on the side the middle of the material i will show you where this thing is necessary at the ending of this video please watch to the end make sure it's at the middle look at it that's what i'm showing you is at the middle don't fold by the side at the middle the the elastic casing is still the same thing this is the lining we're going to fit this lining into the main material with our office pin mm. make sure that the the stitches is at the middle as you feed don't allow it to shift to the side just feed it slowly slow and steady gently feed it inside arrange it very well so that it will not move <coughs> arrange it very well do allow it to move mm -hmm. then in order not to get lost or the lining not to get lost inside the main material hold down the first edge this edge now that i'm showing you go to your sewing material and hold it down before you continue feeding it into the main material let's go and hold it down then i'll come and show you how it looks or you can use your pin and hold it before you go and hold it down yes use your pin or oh, remember use your pin then let's go and sew and come right back i'm done sewing it down then feel for your uh safety pin and start dra feeding the lining into the main material 
continue feeding it making sure that that line i told you about the sewing line that line the joining line is still at the middle don't allow it to shift to the side let it stay at the middle then you feed it continue feeding it to get to the tip continue feeding it into the main material to get to the tip and once you get to the tip you remove your all face pain and arrange it very well then you sew down pin and sew down let's sew it and come back and show you i'm done pinning it i'm done sewing this is how it's looking the thing is getting together it's coming together coming together coming together look at how neat is looking and scrunched is looking our main material is ready remaining the elastic casing let's feed our elastic into the elastic casing using your office pin pin your elastic sorry it's not office pin safety pin sorry safety pin safety pin feed your elastic into the elastic casing <coughs> as you're feeding it make sure that the elastic don't get lost into the casing so that you not redo it again when you get to the tip pin with your pin go to your sewing machine and hold it down <coughs> sorry <coughs> so go to your sewing machine and hold it down then you start feeding it into it to get right to the other end making sure that that line the sewing line is still at the middle and not by the side remove your safety pin arrange your elastic very well on the elastic casing you can pin down then you go and sew i'm right back look at it look at how beautiful it's coming together this is coming together it's beautiful please pay very good attention in this part pay very good attention let me show you how it's done so that you don't make mistake remember this stitch that i told you the stitch at the middle remember that place is the back we are taking that stitch as the back is on the main material and it's on the elastic casing is the back then why placing it place front to front that place there is no stitch on the main material and the place where there is no stitch on the elastic casing place front to front front to front then fold over the SS fold over the SS yes on each other then you use your pin and secure it down secure with your pin so that it will not move secure with your pin so that it will not move i'll repeat this on the other side so that you will be able to understand it but if you don't understand it watch the video over and over again you'll get to understand it it's very very easy it's very easy to understand look at the front yes front facing front at the middle then fold over one side yes then the other side yes then secure with your pin and then go to your machine and run a stitch across run a stitch across then let me do it and come back and show you <coughs> i've done it sorry i've done it look at how it's looking so let's flip it over so that you not see all those rough edges look at it look at it no rough edges again they are all flipped inside look at the other side look at it look at how neat and beautiful is looking look at it very neat and very beautiful isn't this beautiful isn't this lovely you can make it for your kids you can make it for your customers you can make and sell it's very beautiful please don't forget to like share comment on this tutorial subscribe and turn on the notification bell beside the subscription button so that you notify anytime i post a new video this is beautiful guys please my returning subscribers thank you my new subscribers thank you i love you all i appreciate all that you do i love you look at this look at this i'll go over to put it on my mannequin so that you see how it's looking 
look at it on my mannequin look at it isn't it beautiful isn't this beautiful look at the side view look at the back view look at it this is beautiful thank you all for watching to this extent i appreciate you all thank you you people are the real mvps thank you may god bless you all i love you all i love you all